we need to normalize bisexual introverted leftist former gifted children with depression who drink ice coffee and sleep till noon. How is this tweet so specific? The algorithm has found me. Guys, I had a good run. Why can't I play in the abandoned copper mine mommy? Because Joe Hart didn't clear out the vampire dents. Vote in Cope, mine inspector right in candidate. Fun fact, Arizona is the only place in the country where the state mine inspector is an elected position. Another fun fact, this is one of my favorite political ads of all time. Straight out of 2014. I forgot vampire bats were a thing and thought they were referring to the focal kind of vampire. The subtle advocation for kids to be playing in the abandoned copper mines is also not great. I just ordered apple juice at Grand Walk and the waitress said apple juice for babies. Listen, don't put apple juice on the menu and then belittle me for ordering it. Time stamps are the gift that keeps on giving. Trauma survivors on TV, beautifully broken, delivers tearful speech on their traumas, hug it out, me, describes abusive event and laughs boy, that sure was fricked up. You can't be tired, Chortle's a middle-aged family friend, you're young, really, I exclaim, I had no idea, my exhaustion lifts off my shoulders, the bags under my eyes disappear, I no longer need sleep, due to my invigorating youth, I'm free, I read middle-aged as middle-aged and was expecting a plague reference, thou cannot have the black death, the doctor scoffs behind his mask, you are youthful, marry, I exclaim. I had no idea, the fever lifts, my known strength returns, the blackness fades from my known skin, I'm in perfect health, due to my known most wondrous youth, I'm free. You wake up in the night with your arm hanging over the side of your bed, it is still dark, and your bedroom is shrouded in deep shadow, something unseen seizes your hand, you grasp it tightly, knowing that first impressions are important and affirm. Confident handshake will establish dominance, a hollow voice echoes under your bed, shaking you to your core, you're hired, the void is hiring. Had an out of body experience today when my late 30s co-worker asked me if I've ever heard of this website his buddy just turned him on to, Tumblr, keep in mind this is the same legend who I was talking about in both of these posts. I asked my co-worker whose show we are working today and he said I don't know some freaking children's band and it was Imagine Dragons. Today the same guy came up to me and said you've been watching the Winter Olympics. I can't watch a thing I get so freaking horny. He belongs here. I wanna take a girl on a date to a library on a rainy day and we can run around to different shelves and show each other our favorite stories and we'll go to a cozy corner with our arms full of books and sit together and cuddle with hot tea and read together until our cheeks are pink and our hearts are fuzzy and warm. Honestly if I'm studying for an important test at the library while you two have your obnoxious little date I'll kick both of your asses. A psychic buying clothes, employee, how about this one, psychic, that shirt is too small, employee, you didn't even try it on, psychic, I'm a medium. Baby girl I know fandom history that you wouldn't even care about, I know fandom history that even I don't care about, well, I know about lump fish. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me versus my ancestors are smiling at me, can y'all say the same, I survived because I burned my ancestors, can you say the same, I survived because I burned my ancestors is one of the most intense things I've ever read. Rotates you by 90 degrees in the fourth dimension thus causing you to be perpendicular to time as we understand it. Rotates you again so now you're experiencing time upside down. Please stop. I remember I used to watch Bear in the Big Blue House every day when I was little and he always does that smelling thing in the beginning and one time he sniffed and went you smell like ham and cheese and I was eating a ham and cheese sandwich so I cried and never watched the show again because I thought he could actually smell me. Me, wearing a blanket as a cloak, stirring my mac and cheese in a dimly lit room, potion. What are your thoughts on ball busting? Well Tumblr user kicked in the nuts I have a strange feeling there's a particular answer you are hoping to receive here. Making art is literally actually like doing an exorcism you have to get it out of your brain, you have to.
I almost scrolled past but then I remembered the time I woke up at 3.30 in the morning with a scene in my head and couldn't go back to bed until it was on paper and out of my head. Why is every author a number one best selling author? Why is every toothpaste the number one recommended toothpaste? Why do my parents hate me? Looks like someone is a number one recommended disappointment. 7 billion people, 14 billion buttholes, a slight calculative error was made, anus giarg, are you implying there's a human named anus giarg who possesses 7 billion buttholes, this is terrifying. Are you a don't freaking touch me or I'll rip your spine out through your throat traumatized or a please please touch me, I need physical validation to live traumatized, yes. I googled world funniest joke and this was it. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were going camping, they pitched their tent under the stars and went to sleep, sometime in the middle of the night Holmes woke Watson up and said, Watson, look up at the sky, and tell me what you see. Watson replied, I see millions and millions of stars, Holmes said, and what do you deduce from that? Watson replied, well, if there are millions of stars, and if even a few of those have planets, it's quite likely there are some planets like Earth out there, and if there are a few planets like Earth out there, there might also be life, and Holmes said, Watson, you idiot, it means that somebody stole our tent, I'm crying help. Pets love eating meat flavored cereal with no milk. Dog food doesn't taste like meat tbh. It's not for you king. Certified iconic post. If I had a boyfriend I would enrich his enclosure with driftwood and soft pebbles and feed him only live insects like grasshoppers etc. Sometimes I would tap on the glass to interact with him I think. Every freaking day I think about Bruce Springsteen pretending to be gay to avoid the draft and the conscription officers were like, um, yeah, well, anyway, you had a concussion from a motorcycle accident, which means you failed the physical, but, uh, thank you, for that, Bruce, well well wheel Sarge, I do love man in uniform, officer, you, you don't really have to do that, officer, you literally have a concussion. Gay people walk quickly because we constantly have Toxic by Britney Spears 143 BPM playing in our heads, whereas straight people have Closer by the Chainsmokers 95 BPM. Gay people from 1950 to 2010, we are human just like you, we are not another species or a subculture, the only difference is that we are attracted to the same gender. Gay people in 2018, straight people are stinky, wick. Guy discovering mercury, it's like, silver, but it's, faster, interesting fact, quick actually used to mean living, and it was called that because it moved, similar usages are in the phrase the quick and the dead, quicksand and the vigorous reactions of quicklime, I somehow find the implication of quicksand being alive even worse. Giving the Kubrick stare to the fish at Petco. I hope the dude who invented milkshakes got his pussy ate every day until he died. What's the most Australian sentence you can string together? Oi cunt if we are going on a Maccus run I think we could stop to pick up some durries from the servo and then some grog from the bottle oh so we can get frickin maggot or not. What does that mean? Hey friend, if we are going to drive to McDonald's do you think we could stop to pick up some cigarettes from the gas service station and then some alcohol from the liquor store so we can get really drunk or would you prefer not to? Cunt means friend. Accuracy levels through the roof. Shout out to my biology teacher in high school who did the usual speech about how unreliable the internet is as a source and said to only trust .edu and .org websites because only certain organizations can get them and when I told her I had a .org domain registered she stopped her lecture and looked at her assistant and said she has a .org in the most devastated tone of voice I've ever heard. Like I completely turned her world upside down. I used to like the village troubadour but he is so mainstream now that he's performed for the king and everyone knows about him, no no like it's cool if you're into him I guess, but I only listen to the water and the creak and rustles of animals in bushes. Your ancestors would find you incomprehensible and your descendants will despise your grave. This is by far the best compliment I've ever received. Carved into the wall of an Egyptian tomb, try to play this game without coming. 
bites someone haha <laughs> sorry can't help it my star sign is violence kills you. Can you unbite me please I have somewhere to be in 2 hours. No. Snapping turtle core. This is the best tag I've ever gotten on a post. Red Dead Online is so broken right now. You can't even shoot. Horses are broken. NPCs are gone. And inexplicably, some fans are being haunted by a bald man. I don't even play this but this is the funniest thing I've seen since opening Twitter 10 minutes ago. Can't put this on Wikipedia foods because it's so freaking cool and good sweet viper. Strawberry short snake. Big world. Big world. You guys reblog this every Wednesday every Wednesday I wake up and wonder what day it is. And I see Big World in my Tumblr notifications and I'm like ah it's Wednesday again Big World Wednesday just like last Wednesday it's Wednesday it's Big World Wednesday. Guess how I found out today is Wednesday. Oh dear tip. Drink the chemicals. Hi. Sequel here. We do not recommend drinking the chemicals. Everything is made of chemicals though. Like this delicious cranberry juice. Or Pepsi. Even water is chemicals. We are all drinking chemicals. Terrible news. Thank you. I will simply have to stop drinking. The hole from Tomska's the hole is unfrickable. Sure whatever I guess. Who is Tomska? Wrong. Welcome. To whole Wednesday. I think the most heteroshrexual article of clothing to ever exist is khaki shorts. Not ragging them or straight people, but I think it's universally safe to assume that anyone in khaki shorts is het. Roy Mustang, prospective fuha, who, me, I'm simply a bumbling idiot who freaks. Kept barely in line by my second, I could never become fuha, much less stage a coup, to undermine the current regime. Oh, why am I in a ice cream truck? Well, I'm hiding from Hawkey, that's my second with a gun I mentioned. Now do you want chocolate or vanilla? Me picking a scenario to fall asleep to, there's nothing good on. This post just came for my whole life what the hell. I got a new planner which means that I will suddenly and miraculously become organized despite this technique never having worked in the past. By Talus this can't be happening. A man milf. A milf if you will. Need to pee. I love to answer the pedestrian right of way. What the frick are you going to do? Murder me with your vehicle. LOL. Teens in China are putting cabbages on leashes and taking them for walks. When you want to write something really deep, but it ends up sounding like people die if they are killed. Initiates bank robbery with a rubber band. There are only two genders, Concord Bipis. I'm a strong supporter of girls complimenting other girls. There is so much grass in the world. There are probably 46, maybe even 47. Nature is beautiful. Judging someone with ink is still judging based on skin color. The 6 year old flatly refused to believe that we used to navigate using maps made out of paper. You mean like pirates. Why doth the human body ooze when provoked? There's an ooze for just about every brand of human provocation and plainly I'm sick of it. Was going to elucidate on this matter, but then realized I was accidentally inventing the four humors again. What the hell is Star Wars even about? Girl who freaking knows. Are you a heavy comer? It's like cement. My girl has to roll my dick out like a tube of toothpaste. Heavy comer. Viscous. Sorry. Don't apologize that's beautiful. I love hearing how different people love. A little white child opens a box of crayons Crayola brand and picks up the white one. Instead of saying white in different languages, it reads, all caps, cracker, the child sheds tears, and it dies of fright, and no one is around to save it. I could fix him could you fix me instead, I'm suffering. I only date guys with bed frames. I breathe knives. Crossover episode. 
crossover episode, grenade and knife summoning wizard, I breathe knives, innocent child. Grenade and knife summoning wizard, I breathe knives, guys without bed frames. What is structural analysis, this? Gender is a performance and I intend to bomb at the box office, and be enjoyed mainly only as a cult classic. HM, I must say, I was very anti-sport before but, after being on tumblr.com for a while I definitely identify with jocks, unlike nerds, they've never made me read Sherlock and preg miscarriage on the Harry Potter trainer you master posts, they only wanna kick their balls and take booty pics, I'm sorry I took you for granted, jocks. The jocks were only trying to protect us all this time, they pushed nerds into lockers when no one else did. I had a dream where I was playing basketball against Air Bud and I crossed him up so badly that he flew into a wall and exploded and now I'm sitting in bed crying. Howdy folks. I hope that you all enjoyed episode 307 of Top Tumblr Memes. If you did, feel free to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're able to go the extra mile, my hair is everywhere still. And supporting myself and supporting the channel, feel free to click the join button next to the subscribe button and become a channel member. I would really appreciate it. There we go. Now I have a proper man button. I have no hair hanging out the back, but I have to hold it up. Thank you all for your responses to yesterday's question of the day. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for uh, any and all interactions on the videos I've been getting. I also really appreciate that. Now for today's question of the day, if you could go back in time and give your parents one piece of advice, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. I hope that you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you, and I'll see you all tomorrow with episode 308. Peace out, guys.